So a few months back, I was actually invited to the SIG Hunter Games. Long story short, next thing I know, I was on an airplane heading to the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, where I was going to be spending the next three days and three nights. Whoa. All right, here we go. Let's go find your camp for the next four days. Team Warrior. Is this me? It's supposed to say my name on it. Dude, it says my name on it. Let's go. Oh, dude. We're the first ones here. We basically have the entire day to just roam around and look at stuff. And so I know the question you guys are wondering, what is the SIG Games and how did I get here? So the Hunter Games is a shooting competition that SIG actually puts on. It is specifically designed to emulate hunting. Now the competition is invite only and it consists of professional hunters, outdoor celebrities, and like professional gunmen. There's 10 teams of four competitors. These are all the teams I'm competing against and this is my team. So how did I get invited? Well, remember this video where I went bear hunting in Idaho with her, this guy? Ross? Well, Ross is actually one of the professional hunters in the competition. And after the guys at SIG saw my video with Ross, they told Ross to tell me to come down there. And I said, yes. So now I'm in Wyoming. So I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of my little crib. Anyways, first thing we got this cooler. Now I'm gonna just tell you right now, I don't know how I'm gonna use the cooler on this little adventure thing, but if I need a cooler, I got a cooler. Possum out there, I need to get him back home. I can do that. On the inside, not only do we have the tent, but we also have, boom, right here, a sleeping bag. Apparently got freezing cold last year, so maybe they upgraded the sleeping bag. Boom, we got this thing. I don't know what it is. Figure it out in a minute. Boom. Oh, snap, what is this? Dude, I have no idea what this is, but I'll figure it out later. Under this, we have a sleeping pad, so that's nice. We got a headlamp so that we can see in the dark. We got this thing. Also, don't know what that is. And then we have a backpack. Oh, snap. Not only is it a backpack, but it has hunter games on it. Regardless, though. This is supposed to be a challenge that is as close to hunting as possible. Once we start getting that packed full, I'll let you know more about it. But as for now, I don't really know much about it. And I don't know what to even say about it. And then back there, it looks like we got a water thing, which is really nice, because water's good. Hold up. We got stuff in the cooler. Got a shirt, it's nice. Got a bunch of hats, something light, nothing heavy. Here we got a, here we got a, Guys, I can't read. It looks like we got a hoodie. Oh, dude, we got a hoodie. It's going to get cold. We're going to need this. <laughs> oh, and then here's our sunglasses. We got whatever this is. And then there's a knife in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The weather. The weather's something cool to talk about. So tomorrow, first day of competition, it's supposed to rain a lot. Day after, the wind's supposed to blow a lot. But at least it's not going to be hot. Give me a yeah. Do you go yeehaw or... You can go yee-haw, yee-yee. Yeah, yeah. You can go yeet if you want to. I've never done a yee-yee in my life. A little big now. You just like... Yee-yee! You can like do that. some hand motions with it too if you want to. Do like a, like there you a go. kick? Yeah, yeah. You get, you're getting there. Oh. After we got situated at camp, we headed on down to the shooting range. That's where we got issued all of our technical gear and made sure that our guns were sighted in. But before we start shooting, let me show you the technical gear that we actually got. And uh, technical gear... That's just what I'm calling the cool stuff. This right here is our entire equipment list. Every single person got this stuff and this stuff only. That way from a gear standpoint, everybody's equal. Now let's get into the cool stuff. First thing is the bino harness and what's in it. I don't know that much about bino harnesses, but in the bino harness, we got these. These are SIG Zulu 6 image stabilizing binoculars. These are just like normal binoculars, except you turn on a power button, which stabilizes what you're looking at. It's essentially like this, then you hit the power button, and it goes to this. Literally insane. The way this shooting competition's set up is that there's 10 shooting stages across 10 miles of country, one team at each stage. There's a big cannon that goes off and lets everybody know it's time to shoot. Your entire team has 20 minutes. Find three animal targets from 150 out to like 600 yards. Each of your four team members has three shots at the target. And the more you hit, the better you score. So these are key for finding the targets. This is what we used to hit the targets. This is a SIG Cross, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Custom paint job with the Hunter Games logo. They literally built 40 of these for the 40 competitors, and that is all that's in existence. You can't get this anywhere else. Up on top, we have a SIG Sauer Sierra 6 scope. It's a three by 18 scope, with Bluetooth technology. And it's paired to our Kilo 8K rangefinder. Literally wild, they're calibrated to each other. If I range a target at 350, there's a red dot which calibrates 
exactly where my bullet's going at 350. When you range your target, the Kilo BDX rangefinder automatically sends your specific holdover data to your Sierra 3 BDX rifle scope, giving you an illuminated holdover dot. Simply line up the automatic holdover and connect the dot. Now we gotta make sure that the gun is actually sighted in and get it adjusted for me. All right guys, it's a little bit windy. This is the gun that I've been issued. It's already been sighted in. We're just verifying that it's sighted in and getting a few shots with it. And I'm Dylan. All right, I'm Kendall. Nice to meet you, man. And yeah, it looks like you're a little bit taller of a guy, so I'm, I'm gonna sorry. suggest. I'm sorry. Come on, Ben. The other thing we can do here real quick, uh, if you relax, kind of lift your head up just a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna release this. This is spring loaded. Right there should be good. Got it. You're good to go. All right, here we go. First shots with the gun I'll be using in the entire competition. Center, Got it. All right. So whenever I'm set up, I don't know if it's the wind, but I'm going straight side to side. Yeah, wind coming wind. in. Yeah, it's whipping in through here. So you just got to do best. That one was dead center though. So whatever you did, do it again. Okay. I'm not sure what you can see through your optic. Your yeah. first shot was here. Your second shot was here. And once we headed back to camp, that's when I really started to get to meet my teammates. We have Hoist over here. Now Hoist Gracie is a mixed martial arts legend. He won UFC 1, UFC 2, and UFC 4, and he could literally break my nose by looking at me. And then we have Hannah, but she's she's on my team, but she's like the ref. Hannah works for six hour, and she can legally kill you. Now, my other two teammates hadn't arrived yet, but they are Bert Soren, who is the president of the Sornex Exercise Equipment Company, and the dude's an absolute beast. Corey Jacobson's like a 20-time elk calling champion. Legend says he killed his first elk before he was born. You know, if you're not fed and happy, you're not going to want to have fun. So I started sizing up my backpack and stuff. I started to notice that everything I had was smaller than everyone else. So then I asked somebody about it. They said, oh, our bad. We thought Kendall was a girl. I was like, ah, oh, that's fine. I'm just happy to be here. Anyways, the weather for the next day was looking kind of rough. So I went ahead and got in the bed a little early. How did I sleep? Honestly, I don't remember. So probably pretty good. The next day, we had to wake up early. Because Bert finally arrived, <laughs> and uh, we had to make sure his gun was sighted in. Look at this cheek piece. They were saying like you can let it spring up and then push your face down, and you just let me know, and I'll lock it in for you. Awesome. Right there. Right there. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys, it is the beginning of day two. Matt, here are one. We've not started yet. We're starting in about an hour. We're going to start shooting. So what do you think? I'm already tired. I am too, dude. My <laughs> legs are hurt. My <laughs> legs are burning. Hey, we're we're going to be, I don't know if you know that, but so we're climbing that thing by, by there. It's about 10,000 feet. We're going to be about 10,000 feet above sea level. Bada bing, bada boom. We headed out. We have first one out. Literally into the middle of nowhere, then finally we arrive at our first stage. Alright guys, right now we are waiting for a cannon to go off and then we death hike up a mountain and start shooting things. That sounds like a plan, right? <laughs> That's it. We roll? Yep. Well, we got it figured out. He brought walking sticks. We went from like 8,000 feet up to 10,000 feet, literally climbing straight up a mountain. All right, guys, as you can tell, I'm sweating a little bit. We've already confirmed this is the hardest hike of the day, so it's actually good that we get it out early as our first scene or whatever. It is snowing and it's cold and I cannot feel my fingers. Every shot will be a surprise because you can't feel the trigger. You ready, Kendall? I'm ready. Okay. You ready, Bert? Yes, sir. Yeah. I couldn't feel my fingers, and Hoist was standing around like someone just shot his dog. Bert and Corey was out there strategizing, figuring out how could we hit all these targets in the most efficient means possible. And that's when the cannon went off. We jumped straight into it, and we just started throwing down fire. Candle? Yeah. Nice work, bud. Alright guys, we just finished with our first shooting stage. I think it went pretty good, okay? It was fun. Luckily, we made it up that giant hill before it really started getting wet. But now, it is snowing, okay? Kind of hard to see the targets. 
kind of hard to work with. Everything's muddy, everything's wet. It does make it a little bit more realistic. It does make it a lot more fun. It's not gonna be easy. And uh, now it's a little bit more of a challenge. So right now we're moving to the next spot. So I'll catch you whenever we start shooting again. Once we arrived at our next stage, it was literally too foggy. We could not see a single target. We can't see nothing. I just went to explore my backpack, have a little garbage compartment. And I found out that I've been sabotaged with a five pound rock. Oh, that's only three pounds. Uh. <laughs> okay guys, I am eating a snack because they said if I didn't, I would die. I'm not just something I don't know what it is, but it's pretty good dude. By the way, 20 minutes later, we still haven't found a target. One thing I can definitely say about this competition is that we are gonna be testing out the SIG Cross and the ammo because it is covered in mud. I was throwing muddy ammo. I was just throwing dirty ammo in it. Wet, muddy, gritty. There it's got like a crushed bumblebee on it or something. We're putting these bad boys through it. It is wet, it is cold. I guess that's just part of it. We can just hope that maybe it'll stop snowing in a few hours. Well, guess what? It didn't. It literally just kept on raining to the point most of the people on the course could not see a single target. So Sig decided to call the day. We headed all back into camp and then we actually went out in the evening when things did clear up and we did a few special stages. One of them was long range shooting where we had to work as a team to range a target and figure out the correct MOA to dial. Yeah. Once you're on it, it is 13.29 yeah, the... MOA. 13.29. 607 yards. Just right. Yeah, just right. Polar bear. I think I see it out there. Uh, you're at 17.25. Okay. 17.25. Here we go. What do you think about wind? You got a slight right to left. I'd hold definitely right side. Yeah, when I was holding the targets, like I did there, I was holding about right here. Oh, really? So it's pushing it that much. The other special stage was a wolf hunt. We had a SIG X5 with a red dot and we walked through the woods looking for cutouts of wolves and then we had to shoot the metal plate right beside of them. There's no points for shooting the paper targets. You only get points if you actually knock this off. Each contestant gets 15 rounds. You need to knock over five targets. Eyes and ears on, guys. Go ahead and move. Time start. Nice. All right, it's ready. Good job. Nice. Here we go. Nice. Good job. <laughs> clean and serene. I love that. Clean. You guys cleaned the whole stage with two minutes and 20 seconds left. Awesome. I'm going to set one of those up at my house yeah, for that sure. Because that is fun. And you can move them every time too. Oh, yeah. Have someone else move them for you. Yeah. And you would think they'd be easy to find, but they're not. No. And now it was time for bedtime number two. Okay. Night two, we about to get started. It's raining, it's gonna be wet. Not gonna lie, I was sleeping pretty good until I woke up to the weight of a tent smashed on my face from snow. I woke up, batted it off, I was like, oh snap, my tent was literally like this. It was like bending. Once I woke up, it was game on, dude. Like there was snow everywhere. I was looking outside, it was piling up that deep just outside my tent. Started looking around, I, I was here, I hear, snap, and then, ah! People's tents were literally collapsing under the snow and then they were like trapped under there. Then I turn around, look outside and I see Ross and another guy. They were going around everybody's tents. They was wiping off the snow before they actually collapsed on their head and possibly suffocated. Unfortunately for Ross, Mother Nature does not care about good karma because his his tent literally collapsed on him in the middle of the night. Hey Ross, can you tell us a little bit about what happened to your tent last night? Well, about 11 o'clock. Woke up, my tent's sitting on my face. <laughs> so I slowly started pushing, because you don't want to go like hard, because it'll snap. And uh, about the time that happened, I heard a pop, and then I heard a tear, and the pole broke. Where were you, was you just in that? Yeah. I woke up, I was kind of groggy, and I'm looking around, I'm like, looking, I'm like, where's my zipper? <laughs> then I'm like, all right. I got up and... What are you gonna do tonight? Corey, give us an update. How you feeling? A little chilly. I feel mighty black today because 
Black people don't like the cold. <laughs> I do not want to be out here. <laughs> All right, boys. What'd you think about last? What'd you think about last night? I told you. She said, just sleep butt naked. You got down around you. It feels good, man. That's how he slept. Yeah. Naked, he said. Naked. In the tent on top of you. Yeah, I was trying to invite some well, people in nobody would come. What are you thinking about today? You ready for it? I'm ready, man. It's wet. You gotta remember it's June. It's super windy today. It's gonna be blowing 30, especially up top. All of that melting with the sun all day, it's going to be nasty. Yeah. So I don't even know. I'm not in a rush to get out there. It's been a lot of issues, but hey, dude, I'm having fun. Yeah. Love it. Here in Wyoming. Luckily for day two, it wasn't supposed to snow anymore. We all loaded back up in the Defenders and we headed out there to officially start day two the final day of competition. All right guys, we just got to our first stage of the day and this one appears to be some How you feeling? Right now I'm switching out my batteries. What I figured out is that, I don't know if it's the cold weather or just the GoPro or just the batteries, I don't know. But whenever it gets to 30%, that actually means zero percent so it's time to just go ahead and change it out today i guess from yesterday they saw how muddy we got them they got us not just scope covers but full rifle covers because yesterday this thing looked like i just throw it in, in a mud hole there you go. we are off All right. this first stage was literally like picture perfect hit hit all right now i'm ready yep all right Alright, guys. There's three hits. Now we need to move on to the next target, yep. which is shooting caribou or the moose up in the. Okay. Ah, sweet. All right, guys, our first stage of the day is done. Now we're heading on to our next stage, and it's actually a special stage. So something special is happening. I'm not really sure. I heard something about wolves attacking people. We're going to shoot them or something. I don't know. We'll just see when we get there. Just hang on. Hang loose. Hold the bus. Back up. Follow. This next stage was another special stage, and it was an exciting one. Long story short, there's 20 plates scattered out through this field. All four personnel of my team, we shoot them till they're gone. So your goal is to hit as many coyotes, steel plates, uh, that you can. All right, boys, we're reach up there. Yep. We're ready. All right, time starts now. <laughs> It didn't move though. Alright. Try again. Hit two. Hit. 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 Side. Yeah, they was he couldn't see him where it was behind that wood, I guess, and I just had to get him. <laughs> you don't hunt coyotes or anything, do you? No, I can't see them in Kentucky. There's trees everywhere. <laughs> Next, we moved on to one of the standard stages. Nice hit. All right, guys, for this last target, teammates already have this set up. So I should be able to lay my gun right here into this tripod and it should put me right on target, probably. All right, here we go. All right, there we go, there's my gun. Can you raise that? 
Yeah, yeah, I got it. Right there? Right there's good, yep. There. there you go. Anything else? You want me to tighten this part down? Uh -huh. While I'm out? Are we clear to shoot? He said send it. Good job. Hit. Hit. All right, there we go. Did you clean up there too? Mm -hmm. You did? Sweet. This kid's on fire, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but what makes this portion of the course special is the next hike to the next stage. All right, folks. So for this next transition, it's a little bit special. Yes. What exactly are we got to do? So basically, you guys just got done shooting now. Mm -hmm. I loaded each of your guys' pack with 50 pounds. So now there's a 50 pound sandbag strapped in between mm. the bag and the frame. You're gonna lay that rifle down here on the front. Okay. And we'll get that uh, something like so. Up here. Get that tight. If it was a normal four man team packing out of elk, is that about how much it'd be? Yeah, or... 50, 60, 70 pounds, depending on how much you want to carry. Mm -hmm. And so the tricky thing about this one, so not only are we carrying a ton of weight, but we're also carrying a ton of weight and a bunch of sloppy mud stuff. This ain't helping though. The mud definitely not helping us. I thought I was going to die. The good thing is that right before we started hiking this little bit, I did shred down my layers for I'm not wearing a big thick hoodie and rain gear even though it is like 40 degrees or something my body heats plenty enough to keep me way warmer than i'll ever want to be as i was finishing up my hike i looked up ahead of me at the finish line and i could actually see Corey drop off his pack and was coming back this way and he went right past me went all the way back to hoist and burt and helped them carry their the rest of their stuff and so after seeing Corey do that i dropped mine off went back helped too and then we all finally made it to the finish line all at the same time together and we went straight into just hammering some more targets you got it yeah, I got it ranged. Right. We ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Whoop. All right. Okay. Good. So this right here is actually the mountain line target we'd actually been shooting. So you can look at that compared to a boot. Honestly, it's really not that big of a plate. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. You can see that a lot of people on the course so far has maybe had a little emotion on it and went for the head. All right, guys, it is lunchtime. Everything from here this way, I don't like it, but I'm going to eat it anyways. You can shoot Midday update, how we feeling? Oh, Much better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a suntan today. See you, Ralph. It's me awkward. What are you thinking, midday update? <laughs> You're looking good, man. The heavy stuff's behind us, we're hoping hard stuff, and I was just shooting. Did you like we're this? Like we're doing it. This next stage was absolutely hectic, and it was a lot more than just a shooting stage. Boom, the timer starts. You have to sprint about 50 yards to a shooting position. You drop down in the shooting position, single shot, load the rifle, take aim at a target 150 yards, hit that target, eject the shell, boom. The next person in the relay starts a book in it. We run, we aim, we shoot. We run, we aim, we shoot. And we stink and grind this for 15 minutes straight. The more hits you can squeeze in this 15 minutes, the more points your team rakes in. Oh, here we go. It's like a middle school basketball warm up pace. I like it. Not too hard, but not too slow so they don't yell at you. Go, Kendall. I can't keep up with Kendall. Go! Come on, Kendall! Come on, Kendall! Come on, Kendall! Come on! Come on, Kendall! Come on! Come on, Kendall! 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 Here we go. Here we go. Push, push, push. Come on. Come 
make it happen. Eight points. <laughs> you got it. 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 You got you're like the shining star. You've had the best yep. transitions out of oh, anyone on this course. And you open the bolt so fast. Yeah, getting that round in, getting yeah. on the gun. You've been the best so far, brother. Yeah, you're killing, brother. You're booking on that hill. Yeah. Before the day's over, I'm choking you out. <laughs> you, like an arm. man, no, yeah. he's cool. like way ahead of us. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna choke you out before the day's over. <laughs> you know all you have to do to get away from that, though. Run, just, just run. run. <laughs> the way you work that bolt. Uh huh. Hands down, the best we've seen. I. Yeah. Yeah. Some other people need to see you do that. All right, guys. Right now, we have three shooting stages left we're gonna do our best and if we do our best that's awesome because you know what can't really do much better than your best even if it's not great relative to everybody else as long as you do your best literally the only thing that actually matters here we go we're getting close <laughs> yeah Bert, you can go ahead and take out the bear and i'll jump in right behind you 127 there we go there you go there you go All right, here we go. Got him. Got it. I'll move in. Yes, sir. Hey! 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 Good job. Good work. All right, guys, this is our last stage of the day, last stage of the entire event. We have three more targets, three more shots per person, per target. And uh, then we go back and we see if we won. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, then we go back and get the trophy. But anyways, here we go. The muskox about 170, 177. Yeah, boys. Ready? Yeah, we're going. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. If Hoist is ready, let him Hoist shoot. Hoist ready. Hoist is clear. 303. No. Hit it again. 269. Yep. Okay. All right. So am I clear? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Here's for the marbles. And you can dig your elbows right into the mud if you need to. Okay. There we go. There we go. And it is over. Our day is finished. Or at least we're shooting. Now we just have to see how good did we actually do. But let me give you a few really, really interesting stats that you guys might be interested in. So we fired 6,000 rounds last night and today. As a group collectively, we walked over 450 miles. We moved 1,950 pounds of weight. Anybody want to guess the average shot distance? 250. 288. The average team earned 68% of possible points. The, the winning team had 79% of possible points. So the third place finishers, Team Ramshorn, Mike Glover, Stump, Jack Osborne, <laughs> Cole Kramer. Come on up. Good job. And just for the record, Jack. Andy left because he said he hated everyone, so he left. <laughs> so, so that's Andy. The second place finishers, Matt Light, Adam LaRoche, Jared Outlaw, Trent Fisher, Team Big Horn. I guess what I would say before I talk about the first place team is the effort here is to replicate some, some real life hunting scenarios. Obviously we couldn't control the weather and that made it even more realistic I think to have all the conditions you had to go out there in. With no further ado, your winners of the 2022 SIG Hunter Games, Hoist Gracie, Kendall Gray, Burke Soren, Corey Jacobson, Team Warrior.
If I had to say one thing about the event, I would say thanks to SIG. And literally every single person I met down there was as nice as could be. And they said that we can keep the same team for next year. Click over here if you want to watch the bear hunt, which somehow actually got me into the hunter games. Or right over here for our biggest project yet.